Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm gonna to do something that I haven't done yet on the channel. I'm gonna do some sous vide fried chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this big, it's like about a five pound, five and a half pound Costco chicken, and I'm gonna cut it up, and we're gonna throw it in the sous vide bath and fry it up. Be right back. I went ahead and uh, cut the chicken up into pieces, individual pieces. I didn't want to bore you guys with that. I used my trusty uh, towel cutlery meat cleaver and I just pretty much cut it into um, individual pieces. I got the two wings, two uh, legs, two thighs, and I took the breasts. Instead of doing two whole breasts, I cut the breasts in half because they're kind of big um, for these Costco chickens. <clears throat> so, you know, instead of having eight pieces of chicken you know we're gonna have ten because I cut the breasts in half so what I'm all gonna do with these is real simple I'm gonna bag them up I'm not gonna you know dry brine them or brine them at all I'm gonna actually just uh, season them up with a little kosher salt not a ton it's a little bit of kosher salt on each side and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of lemon pepper from running wild on there And then, just like I said, not a ton, because we're going to still deep fry this and um, when we're done sous vide So I just want enough, we'll give it a little bit of flavor in the bag. And then we're going to season the flour with some of this as well. So I'm going to do the other side, and I'll be back. Since my uh, chicken's in the sous vide, it's going to be in there for a couple hours. But I'm going to go ahead and prepare my flour anyway. So I, what I did is I put about four cups of all-purpose flour in this bowl here. And then I'm going to add just about a uh, quarter cup here. I'm going to just a little bit less than a quarter of a cup of the uh, lemon pepper, running wild lemon pepper. Just a little bit less than a quarter of a cup. And I'm going to do the same with some kosher salt. A little bit less than a quarter of a cup. And then I'm going to take some cayenne pepper. We're going to spice it up just a little bit and do about an eighth of a cup of that. We don't want too much cayenne. So about an eighth of a cup. And then I'm going to mix it in with a, with a whisk. Because I want this seasoning to get all in the flour pretty good and it's hard to do that with a spoon it usually ends up settling at the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and just use a whisk and I'm gonna taste this again before I finish it just to make sure that it's got the right uh, amount of seasoning then you can always adjust but that's what I'm doing about four cups of flour quarter cup of sh uh, salt a little bit less than a quarter cup of salt a little bit less than a quarter cup of the lemon pepper and about an eighth of a cup of cayenne and like I said, you can adjust this any way you want. You can use different seasonings, but this is just how I'm doing this one. All right, guys, this should be pretty good. And then when our chicken's done, we'll be dredging and frying. All right, all it's been about three hours, and I got my chicken out of the uh, sous vide, and it's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a kind of a double dredge. I'm going to first take a piece. I didn't dry the chicken off when I just took it out of the bag. I just took it out of the bag and threw it on the pan. So I'm just going to toss it right into the flour first. I'm just going to coat it with the flour and then I'm going to kind of shake off any excess. And then what I did in here, I took three eggs and about a quarter to a half a cup of milk and beat it up. Got it all nice and uh, mixed together. Then I'm going to dip my chicken in that. Let the egg wash drain. And then we're going to toss it back in the flour again. So we get a little bit more of that crust on there. And then I'm just going to put it right on this rack. And kind of let that sit there until we're ready to go. So, real easy. Take the chicken out of the bag. 
You don't need to dry it off or pat it dry. Dip it in the flour, get it nice and coated well. Dip it in your egg wash and then dip it back in the flour and then put it on the rack and let it dry. I'm gonna finish doing this and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fry it up. All right guys, I got it all battered up. I'm gonna let it just sit here for a few minutes and kind of let that uh, batter just kind of take hold of the, the skin and dry up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my um, cast iron skillet here and we're gonna take it outside. I'm gonna use my induction uh, burner outside so I don't stink the house up with uh, hot oil. It's gonna make it you know, a lot better. And I'm just going to use some regular old canola oil to cook in. So one of the things I like about the um, induction burners is that I can actually set it to the exact temp. So, all right, I'll see you outside in a few minutes. All right, guys, I'm going to kind of show you how I'm going to do this. I'll take my oil. And if you haven't used these uh, in one of these induction burners before, it won't uh, actually work if there's not a steel pan on it. It has to be steel, um, either cast iron, carbon steel, stainless steel, but you have to have some kind of steel pan on it because the way these work is the um, by magnetics. They actually heat the metal up. It doesn't heat the element up. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't usually keep this plugged in. And turn it on. Put my oil in there about um, a little less than half way up because we know that's gonna when we, once we put the chicken in it'll fill up and since it turn it on and the way these work you can um, there's two different woes you can actually program it by the power or temperature and I'm gonna do temperature today so right now it's at 350 I'm gonna show you that right now it's at 300 I'm gonna get it up to 350 and just let it heat up to that. It won't take it long, so I'll be back. I'm going to let this heat up. All right, guys, it's been about uh, 10, 12 minutes, and I just checked it with my instant read, and it's right at 350. So since we've got a smaller pan, we're going to just do like three or four pieces at a time and then put them right back on the rack here, and then we'll add the other. So... I'm going to start by just putting in a couple pieces here, letting them cook up. I'm trying not to crowd it too much. They can be touching, you just don't want them to be uh, too much. Uh, you lose some of your crust that way. So that's probably a good right there. And we're going to let them cook. Uh, for about five or six minutes until it's nice and crispy and then we're gonna flip them over and let them cook on the other side remember we already cooked the meat pretty much all the way through so all we're doing is letting this get nice and crispy so I'm gonna let these cook and I'll be back when I'm flipping them it's been about four or five minutes so let me go ahead and flip one of these just to see how done it is that wing looks pretty good. I did turn the heat up just a little bit on here to 400 because it cooled the water down. Or the, it did cool the oil down a little bit. That's good. That one looks good. I just don't want it to burn on the bottom. I want it to get nice and crispy but not burnt. Looks like I got just the right amount of oil in here. If I put any more oil or any more chicken, it would uh, splatter everywhere. Those are looking pretty good. So I'll do another four or five minutes on that side. Then we'll put them on the rack. And we'll put the other five in. But I won't bore you with that. So those are looking pretty good. I'll be back in a few. All right, guys. It's been another four or five minutes here. And I think it's looking pretty good. It's starting to bubbles are starting to calm down, which means that it's done. Look at both sides, it looks really crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and set that on the rack. Let me get these off. 
Let me get my other ones in. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this off before my other chicken's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this breast right here. See how crispy they are. Still kind of hot, so I'm going to get me a fork. So yeah, I'm going to get me a fork here and just take a... Oh, look at all that juice coming running out. And that's the breast, guys, so still nice and hot. Give that a taste. Mmm. Boy, I can taste that lemon pepper. A little bit of that Cajun spice. It's really crispy. Still very moist, too. This is, like I said, this is the breast part. You can see how much juice is coming out of it. I love the crust. It's pretty much perfect. Mm. Can't ask for better. Probably one of the best fried chickens I've ever made. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm going to go finish this up, and we're going to have some really great fried chicken for dinner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.